It's a quiet, idyllic Saturday morning at the Bukit Timah Nature Reserve. And Major Lee Mei Yi is out spending quality time with her mom and dad. The tranquility is something very different from the environment she's used to at work. Major Lee is actually an F-16 fighter pilot from 145 Squadron of the Republic of Singapore Air Force. Her job is to fly these loud, roaring, metallic birds of prey to guard the skies of Singapore. As operational pilot, we defend the skies of Singapore. Uh, what we do is uh, we have to be on standby duty to be ready for any scrambles or anything like that for air defence of Singapore. And also for day-to-day -day training wise, uh, I'm consolidating my skills as a wingman and uh, learning to be a flight lead of uh, two aircraft and thereafter four aircraft. So I'm constantly uh, being exposed to different missions, uh, given dynamic scenarios to hone my skills and to eventually be responsible not just for myself but also for my formation members. Entry. The first time I took to the skies was during my air grading uh, in Tamworth, Australia on the CT-4B. So the feeling was a very surreal one that uh, I could be airborne in this uh, small propeller plane. And subsequently when I became an operational pilot on the F-16, uh, for the first time flying there was uh, in Tucson, Arizona. And I would say it's also the same surreal feeling. Uh, but I have to quickly get over that because uh, there are many things to do in the cockpit. Uh, I don't have much time to be in the moment and enjoy being airborne. So that was my first flight on the F-16. Flying at twice the speed of sound, with sudden twists and turns, fighter pilots can experience quite a lot of physical stress on their body. Depending on the flight profile, they can have as much as nine times their body weight weighing down on them. Physical pressures aside, there are also other challenges that come with combat flying. Being a pilot in the RSAF, you need to be able to thrive under pressure. It is very hectic and fast-paced because there are a lot of things to do. We are always thinking of what's the next step. We have to fly formation answer all the comms that are coming in, then also to ensure that we employ our weapons and get the job done. Based on the missions that we're going for, we have air-to-air uh, -air live firing and also live drops. And even as Major Lee learns to manage the demands of combat flying, she also has had to manage the irregular hours of a military career. It can be quite demanding during the hectic periods when we have exercises and uh, some meetings and projects that we have to handle, then the hours will be very long. Uh, but there are some lull periods during the recess that we can take time off, catching up with our family, to meet up with my friends and uh, pursue some of my hobbies. So there are good times and there are also the more hectic and busy times. Uh, this uh, career choice that I've made, for example, is very demanding. So they do their part to help me out when they can. So we all work together to manage this. Despite having only flown for two years with 145 Squadron, Major Lee has had the opportunity of honing her flying skills with many of her more experienced colleagues. I've worked with a mix of both uh, senior and junior pilots throughout my career. From the senior air crew wise, I've learned a lot from them based on their experience. They have obviously a lot more flying experience and flying different exercises, detachments and across many different countries. The working environment between me and my colleagues is very professional. We get things done and we are very objective when it comes to that. We have built a good sense of uh, camaraderie between each other. Personally, I put pressure on myself to perform well. I think it's only natural. 
uh, working among professionals, we all put pressure on ourselves to do well for ourselves and for each other to ensure that we perform well as a team. So I do expect a lot from myself and I think uh, it has put me in a good state to push my boundaries and uh, perform better each time. Being here at Bukit Timah Nature Reserve, we see how people are enjoying their daily uh, way of life. Uh, the peace and tranquility that it uh, portrays uh, is something that I think Singaporeans might have taken for granted uh, after the peace that we have had for decades. So I think as Singaporeans, we have to do our part to contribute and to defend the nation. Joining the military can seem very daunting for a female. Uh, there are days that are hard, there are days that are long, but at the end of the day, what keeps me going is my squadron mates. And those are the guys I'll fight together with and knowing that there's a deeper meaning and purpose behind what we do.